It's the first Tuesday of the month. It's April 5th. So you know what that means. Net links up on a Tuesday. Got your girl in the kind of she chooses. Close up on a Tuesday. Oh man, that just feels so good to do that again. <sighs> Does your power supply run too loud and too hot? Just pick up a Be Quiet power supply. They range from 80 plus bronze to platinum, feature a completely silent cooling fan, and come with a five year warranty. Plus, they're designed by the Germans, so you know it's efficient. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, just get it, get it out of there. Oh, The GPU Technology Conference, or GTC for short, is in full swing, and today was NVIDIA's CEO Jensen Huang's keynote. Spoiler alert, he didn't mention anything about the new Pascal GTX GPUs. I know, I know, the agony. Jensen had a lot to say, so here's a brief summary. The NVIDIA SDK would be getting a significant update because of the new Pascal architecture. NVIDIA's iRake technology allows for VR environments to be photorealistic. The Tesla P100 GPUs for supercomputing are packing 15.3 billion transistors, a 16 nanometer FinFET, and HBM 2.0. The NVIDIA DGX-1 is the first supercomputer to launch aimed at deep learning and cost $129,000. Finally, Jensen talked about HD mapping and AI driving. NVIDIA will also be a part of the Robo Race Championship, which is like Formula One, but with autonomous race cars. So that's cool. Switching gears a little bit, MSI revealed details on the world's first VR-ready professional mobile workstation. Basically a hardcore notebook that's not meant for gaming. It's the WT726QN. There are three configurations to choose from, but the top tier model will have a Xeon E3 CPU, a Quadro M5500 8GB GPU, a 17.3 inch 4K display, a Super Raid 4 256GB SSD with 1TB of storage, 64GB of DDR4 RAM, a killer E2400 NIC card, Blu-ray burner, lots of USB 3 ports, one Thunderbolt port, a 9 cell battery, and it weighs in at 8.4 pounds. Mmm. This top tier version will set you back $6,900. Earlier this month, we briefly mentioned that the PS4 will get PC remote play, and the update that will enable it arrives tomorrow on the PlayStation. But there are some requirements. Remote play will be compatible with both Mac and PC. For Macs, you will need OS X 10.10 or later. For PCs, you will need Windows 8.1 or Windows 10. You will only be able to select either 360p, 540p, and 720p resolutions with 5 40 being the default, weird, but you can pick either 30 FPS or 60 FPS for frame rate. I'm still running Windows 7, but that's okay. I didn't want to play in 720p anyways. I, I do want to play on PC. <sighs> oh, you know what time it is. Lightning round. Dang, how long did that take you to do in Minecraft? Send us your versions of Lightning Round for a chance to be featured. EVGA has just released some GTX 950 GPUs that don't require the 6-pin PCIe connector. Samsung announced that they have started to mass produce 10 nanometer class 8 gigabit DDR4 RAM. Yes, gigabit, not gigabyte. There's a difference. Popular messaging app WhatsApp has now end-to-end -end encrypted messages. HP's new premium notebook, the Spectre, has a 1920 by 1080 IPS screen, three USB Type-C ports, and is roughly the thickness of a AAA battery. And finally, IKEA, yes, IKEA of all people, have launched a pilot VR kitchen experience for the HTC Vive on Steam. This is what I'm picturing. OMG, who would put a Rimforza workbench right next to a Molex shelving unit? Ah. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCX forum post linked down in the description. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just so you know, Key sorta has a monopoly on both QuickBits and Central Pack. Great, now I owe him $2 just for saying it.
And that brings us to today's sponsor, Crunchyroll. You guys know the deal. Crunchyroll is our number one source for all of our anime and manga needs. You can find shows like the action-packed Attack on Titan, cook-offs in Food Wars, card duels in Yu-Gi-Oh! And yes, felines that fight crows in Samurai Pizza Cats. All shows on Crunchyroll are professionally subtitled and playable on all your devices. And that's just all included in the free version. If you sign up for Crunchyroll Premium, you get unlimited access to news episodes of all the anime, manga, and drama titles as soon as one hour after they air in Japan, all in ad-free 1080p HD. Normally, it's only $6.95 per month, but as an exclusive for Netlink Daily fans, you can try premium free, yes, I said free, for 30 days by going to crunchyroll.com slash NCIX. Enjoy all of your favorite anime in one place. So click here or the link in the description to start your free trial. Once again, that's crunchyroll.com slash NCIX. All right, that's it for Netling Day. Thanks for watching. Click over here for previous videos and check us out on Twitter right over here. But as always, don't forget to like the video, comment for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more like this from NCIX. And yes, I have been reading comments about my glorious slash hideous beard, depending on who you talk to. Look, I'm trying to see how long this will get within a year, and it's been roughly six to seven months already, so. You guys can say what you want, but the beard is staying for just a bit longer. Or maybe if we can hit a million subs before my one year is up, I'll shave it early. How's that sound? No? Well, I'm keeping it. Bye!